Um, all of the teams, uh, or sorry, all of the players are in almost. I think we are missing one, but before, uh, while they're setting up, we're going to go ahead and take a look um, at the bracket once again for anybody that missed it before the break. Uh, let's go ahead and break it. There we go. Um, starting at the top, you have here, um, at this point, I think there's a way we can hide what happened before. Oh, kind of, but then round three is gone. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, let's go back here. Yeah, so um, we have here the hacks versus speaking in tongues. We saw first speaking in tongues is up by one. Chimera Crew versus Easy Boys. Uh, Chimera Crew is up by one. Sigma versus Bot Nation. That's the match you just saw before we took a break. They're up by one. And Nemesis versus FPS is coming up right now. That's the, ma the match we're going to see in a moment. Um, and then we're going to bring it back up to uh, the, the Chimera Crew versus Easy Boys um, and see what the result of that will be. So for this game right here, Nemesis versus FPS, they're going to go on Residential House. And Residential House, we've already seen it a couple times tonight, this afternoon. Is it night yet? Eh, it depends where you are in the world. Good uh, good evening, my uh, EU friends. Uh, good morning, my Australia and New Zealand friends. And uh, good afternoon, I guess, everyone in the US. Um, we have Nemesis here with uh, Brand One, Mace, Messi, Smitner, Spit, Smit, Nem, uh, Plebdo, Death, and Ghetto. Uh, against uh, FPS, their roster is uh, Joe Hansen, Matt G, Fly Like an Eagle, Breezy Dripped Out, Mimas, and Hellish Mist. I actually played against these guys a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've I think we've definitely seen them before. Uh, so we're good to go. Yeah. Um, and they're all set. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and get this game started. It is game one between Nemesis and FPS. And for Nemesis, their roster, out of their roster, they're going with Plebdo, Plebdo, excuse me, Death, Messi, Mace, and Smith. For Team FPS, it's going to be Johansson, Mimas, Elish Mist, Fly Like an Eagle, and Matt G. Uh, just want to... Uh, Tell you, Mimas, if you manage to pass me on the leaderboard, I've been prepping for the tournament, okay? So I'm coming after you after this is over with. We've been we've been fighting for that 30th and 20th oh, place spot. <laughs> Use the planning table to find the ball. Second floor master bedroom. That's the first choice that uh, Team FPS is going to go with. You see all those marks being placed by Team Nemesis here. I think they're all going with AKs. They are. Uh, Matt G has a sticky cam. I ooh ooh. That's a innovative spot. Death coming on the showcase side with the tactical shotgun. Smith also joining on the same side with the M4. They're going to repel up with Messi on the riot shield. Mace also in position with the ES36 and Plebdow. He's going to go to the rooftop. It looks like we're looking at Team Nemesis move in as a unit together. Messi on Balk with the shield. Probably should be facing the other way, and that is why. His health is down to 35. I'm not sure what Matt Messi just holding the door there with the okay, there we go. He opens the door, moves in. I don't know whose nade that was, but it didn't do a whole lot. Looks like it looks like Messi's going in first with the shield to help help out the guys get info on where the guys are at. Looks like Smith gets oh, a kill flash. on Matt G. And uh, flash looks like Messi out. is flashed. Daggers the shield. Death jumps into looks like elderly room. Messi gets flashed again. And staggers. Hellish Miss gets kills on. Well, Messi Mason, gets nice him with aid. the frag. Gonna go right on the defuse. Johnson's gotta move. Fly like an eagle's gotta come up. And Mimas, they're all not, not on site. Mimas got a kill, oh. and then we got a <laughs> retrade on Smith. Yeah. Messi forced their hand by starting the defuse with nobody on site. It's everybody's gotta run into the objective. And uh yes, it, it, the this is one of those things where we talked about reacting to communication. It's tough on second floor because of that second floor hall being so open. You don't want to just start running. But 
if your man goes down on the objective, everybody else has got to start moving in and help cover. Well, especially when you get boxed out of sight like that, like you see that a lot in, in, in games, especially like I see it a lot when you play Siege a lot too. You'd see, you see, you just see a bunch of roamers and then people just collapse on sight and then they're boxed out and then that's just it. You don't have time to get back or you can't get back in and take the sight back and you lost control. That's why when you start, typically when you start having roamers, you start seeing pressure and stuff like that. You want to tell your team like, hey, I need help. I have at least three people up here. I need some people to start rotating back or, the, you know, you got your roamers and stuff like that to come in behind and get get picks on flank. Deploying in 10 seconds. And it looks uh, here like we're going to have a first floor kitchen objective play. Um, this Located is, if I remember correctly, I believe showcase is blocked. Uh Smit is there on the outside. I, I think there should be a screen to his left, though. Yeah, see, there's a screen blocking the short hall. And Smit will at least take out the camera. Yeah, there it is. It is blocked. That's a that's a good thing for them, too, when they want to push in, because it alleviates a little bit of areas they have to look at when they do push in. So that procedure generation. Oh, Nate, oh, that looks like a good one. Oh, but it doesn't get anyone. Nate coming from fly like an eagle. Of an AK on the attacking uh, side. Hellish Mish is holding the uh, angle out there in the dining room. Johnson's in the little storage room right outside the kitchen. Death is just, they're using the shield as support as a mobile cover. It's actually kind of smart in this situation because the way this hallway is, it just being a death trap. And as you can see, exactly right there why that worked out. I think um, what we're seeing from Team Nemesis is actually there, the though. best use of the shield that we've seen so far as far as using it with your team goes. Obviously, I think the best use of the shield individually goes to Ganon, but <laughs> as a team, yeah. this, is, this is how you're supposed to use the shield. Especially in a hallway like this, because we saw the last couple games too, people were just getting blasted moving through that hallway almost every time. And you just saw it stop a couple rounds there, probably kept one of them alive. Very little flanking options with the showcase being blocked. Oh. It's too caught in the hall. It's like we have a 2v3 right now. He's actually getting rid of the wedge as he's getting shot. At. Yeah. Wow. Really wants that wedge gone. <laughs> Well, he's opened up an opportunity now in maids from showcase. They just—they're gonna have to—they're gonna have to—they're gonna have to collapse on him. They're gonna have to go for a trade. Smith's got the angle there to take out Matt G. Flash going into maids. Flash goes off. He's moving in, but he did bypass. He doesn't see Helen. That Smith looks at him, knows he's there to get in the gunfight. Can't hit him through the. F oh wow. Yeah, he's through the tape. We got a 1v2 right now. Plebdo. Moving in through kitchen. Don't walk he doesn't up to him. Don't shield. walk up to him. Oh, he's gonna get, yeah, he's gonna get meleeed. Oh! Hey, oh! oh. oh. <laughs> what a move! Pleb Plebdo <laughs> hit the dirt and just started shooting his feet out. Oh my goodness. That was, oh. a, that was a. What a professional play! play. Second best play of the day. Absolutely. Hands down, this is the second best play of the day. That was the funniest thing I've seen. Wow, what a play by Pleb right there, man. That was... That was hilarious. Wow. I, I, you know, it looked like he was definitely playing with fire by being by standing up there. By the way, for those of you who don't know, we haven't addressed this. When you are prone, uh, you cannot be meleeed by the shield when you're prone. Uh, so he was just standing out in the open, clearly knew about that, or maybe his team was probably shouting at him, get on the ground, hit the dirt, because he just hit down at the last second, right when he was about to get meleeed, and then, <laughs> with the shield bearer realizing uh, that he's not going to be able to get a kill, swaps to the pistol. Boy, that was, uh, yeah. that was a highlight moment there. He went prone, he didn't know, I didn't think he knew where he went, because he turned around and was like looking behind him. Like, <laughs> they just dropped. Matt G placing the sticky cam above the storage door to look down long hall. In 10 seconds. Not a bad spot at all. I get eyes. 
Earthwork Kitchen again for Team FPS. Locate and defuse the bomb. Smith's coming in on the showcase entrance side. Death, the front, Messi taking point with the shield through storage. Mace is outside the power doors. And Klebdow's gonna go to the roof. Maybe he's gonna start clearing top. Mm hmm. Make sure your rear is cleared. Not a bad idea. So you think someone is in showcase? It's Matt G. Oh, down. Got a kill there off the stairs. I think that was fly like an eagle that was on the receiving end. Oh, it's Smith and Matt G trade. Again, using that shield for cover. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Pushing that a little bit too hard around the 90. Mimas getting the kill. That nade might be perfect. It is! Messi getting the kill on Mimas. Messi throwing out a flash. He's hitting his own guy through the. Okay. <laughs> Looked like he was almost hitting his own guy through the kitchen <laughs> window there. Johnson Johnson's is still in peace. Oh boy. Oh, oh, money. Oh. Okay, good trade on that. I thought he was going to get a collector right there. Oh, he peeled. Hellish with a better he angle. He looks away just at the last second, and we just turned to three. Man. Oh, but Plebdo gets another clutch kill. Second second one, man. Mm -hmm. Guy runs up to shut the door, take cover, get shot. I thought that almost turned out bad for Nemesis. That was... Uh, Pleb coming in clutch with those kills, man. That's the second time. Wow. So we have yeah. Smit 5 2, Messi 2 2, and Plebdow 5 1. Those are your positive KD players on Team Nemesis right now. Um, see them working together, uh, playing. Pretty much as a unit. I mean, that that's that's a perfect example of, of, of working together. Good comms. You can. Like, it's amazing how you can tell there's good comms without hearing the comms because you see the reaction happening in front of you. And for FPS, uh, looks like we're gonna have Hellish and Mimas there as, as the ones with the highest uh, KD. There, both of them 1.0 though. That's not gonna get you far enough. But uh, now FPS attacks and Nemesis defends. We shall see. What will happen? I thought that was up in Elder's room for this okay. first floor kitchen objective. Oh. First thing, all of us like all got a together. alley spawn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're going to start putting rounds through the, the back window, try to get some kills right off the bat. Actually, it's. it's how don't it's you? Not a bad, okay. <laughs> it's not a bad. It's not a bad idea to just. There we go. It's, like, it's not a bad idea to just mag dump that window. You might get some. Yeah, I, I was thinking they were going to run past it, but I'm like, how do you avoid the temptation just to try to do that? <laughs> they were being pretty disciplined there. Like hell, they're going back up to the roof again. Looks like they're going to try to clear down, top down. Bring in the shield as well for more intel. Gathering. Hansen still watching Showcase, not pushing in. I think we'll he'll probably hold really, that. They're really, they're really on their tiptoes right now, just making sure they want to try to play it safe. All right. One minute in, and no one has pushed in the building. Now defenders can leave if they want to. He flashed himself, though! He did not time it right. He flashed himself. Yep. Uh, Johansson is not flashed. It's just one thing about the game that when you spectate someone who's flashed, anyone else you spectate will still have the flash effect. No, Johansson did not also get flashed there. Elish has a door trap in front of him, but he's already inside. Oh, Matt G takes out Smith, and then Matt G gets killed himself. Elish taking out Death. It is like somebody. 43. Somebody's coming out right now. Where Johansson is, I don't know where Johansson is going. Plebdo, holding it down right now against his shield. We got a 2v3. He's at Plebdo just running from the oh. shield, just <laughs> on him, man. I don't know, does Plebdo know he can melee him, stagger him a little bit? Yeah, I think he hurt. Nate at him, makes him run off. He, got him. he gets him with the frag. 
Now, wow. when the shield runs out of stamina, or when the shield bearer runs out of stamina, they cannot melee. Oh, looking the wrong way, not expecting Duranson to be outside. But you do need stamina in order to melee. Oh. Looks like the only way this is... Oh, he got down to 1v1 now. Let's see how this works, but he's going to have to... I mean, the safe thing to do would probably be rotate to try to get a little bit closer. To so I'm assuming if you go through the fir first floor hallway, mm -hmm. go around showroom, you at least have some cover to be right on his ass. It looks like that's what's going on right now. So now he's coming out to the L hallway and kitchen. Oh, and don't push in there. And he runs uh -huh. right into Mace. Yeah, that that's... That's another win for Team Nemesis. Can't just sprint into doorways like that. No. There's that, yeah, there's the careful. funnel that you gotta, you gotta pie it first at least. Uh, to, before you start crossing like that, and it's maybe he felt rushed, but there was about a minute eight seconds left. Like it, it, it's, you, there was no really that much of a rush in a one v one v one situation. You know, the math was on yeah. the side there. I, I just uh, wish he maybe played that a little bit slower. Team FPS now looking to be the, maybe the second team here that gets five would Not looking, rather, but trying to avoid it. Excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like this is, you know, you this is a nemesis win. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, I mean, I just don't see a comeback coming up, you know, four or five rounds, especially on defense. Yeah, they're going to have, after this game, a break to maybe figure out what happened. Uh, I imagine some of these teams will be studying their previous games as we are doing round three. Locate and defuse the bomb. We're getting closer and closer to the finals, and so these teams will want to go ahead and review what happened, what went wrong, before they have their second game potentially get sent down to the loser's bracket. We'll see how FPS plays this out right now. They might just run in, or they might, you know, they might try to play it slow and try to get a comeback here. Club's just sitting in the... What room is he in right now? Uh, we're gonna find out now. One of the guest rooms. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, guest room. Death is just prone to the door, just waiting. Yeah. It just is waiting not always easy. Oh, there's fly like an eagle. Got a kill there. It's not always easy to determine what room people are in, guys, <laughs> because the procedural prop placement has kind of changed, changed the floor plan every time. Not the floor plan, excuse me. They changed unless the there's props. a static, unless there's a static prop that doesn't move, which a lot of rooms do. You really, you know, you're just staring at one wall. It's gonna be hard to. Figure out yeah. which one he's in right then. That's moving over to the living room, looking at the sunroom door. Smith's just sitting down there holding that corner. I wonder if they I wonder if that was something they planned to do, or I wonder if that was something they were they saw when they were watching the uh tier one mm -hmm. game. Messi comes up behind Hellish Mist, drops him, and then drops Mimas. Now we have a 2v3. Smith still hasn't moved from showroom. Hopefully that will pay off if he stays paid. Johansson's rotating around outside the storage room. Probably going to put some rounds through the window here in a second. Like an eagle. He's getting ready to move into showroom. Let's see how he... Let's see Smith's if he frags or flashes that corner. He's got a, at least a frag in hand. There you go. Defender with sees, the shield. Sees the oh, shield. Got the and then runs out. That's gets a trade, a trade on Smith. Like an eagle, gets a trade on Smith. We have a 1v2. One of them's a shoot. Johansson's coming up. Those connected. It's He's down to 21 health. Sunroom door. 21 health. He's going to have to try to get a pick here. Right now, we're just he's using that shield as intel. He's just telling his teammate where he's at, at the door. Basically just giving him free knowledge. Rotator. He's got a minute left. He's going to have to make some type of play. I mean, if he does that current peak, though. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah. I'm surprised they both didn't see each other when they did that. Yeah, right? You'd think Johansson's now coming into the showcase. And the shield is there to read. <laughs> throws a nade right at him. Just misses on 21 health. He's got to move in and do something because that, that guy with the gun is actually going to come up and fight. 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds left. He throws a frag grenade and does not get a kill. He's got to move in. He's getting intel. He's going to pass that door and get shot. Did not check the door on his right and got hit. And that's a 5-0. Another sweep. Team Nemesis. Yeah. A lot of running in. I noticed a lot of sprinting in without really checking in certain situations. And yeah, really not the best calls. I, I, it was it was some sloppy play that we didn't really. I, I don't think that uh, that really shouldn't happen. If you're trying to, if you, especially if you're on your own, you got no one behind you. Uh, I mean, it's. I really can't find a good reason why you would just sprint into a funnel like that, especially if you expect someone to be on the other side. There was really some some plays that probably should not have happened. Um, but uh, that is going to be game one going to Team Nemesis. FPS going to have to win the next game if they want to extend this out. Nemesis and FPS are ready to go. And we are ready. I am ready. Tony is ready. Nemesis and FPS both ready. Let's go ahead and get into the game. It is Terror House. Game number two. For Nemesis, we have Death, Mace, Messi, Brand, One, and Plebdow. For FPS, it is Johansson, Mimas, Hellish Mist, Matt G, and Fly Like an Eagle. here a lot of the uh, m4 that's gone c4 is gone use the planning table to find the bomb a hellish mist starting with the ak objective is third floor main office fly like an eagle is on the first floor with the ak and armor matt g with the ak and seconds. a sticky cam he's just going to verify that the sticky cam's where he likes it and he must be satisfied there. He's watching the uh, entrance from the third floor balcony as Johansson will wedge that door. Mimas will cover the roof entrance. Death coming in with the tactical shotgun. Brand one coming in with the M4. Mace with the ES36. Messi has the shield. And Plebdow has the MAC-10. And they're going to keep... This is an interesting strategy. I don't think I've seen any team do by uh, Team Nemesis here. They're just going to go ahead and... Uh, I've seen people spam the repel before but not as multiple members of a single team to go ahead and just throw off any idea from uh, on how many people are on the repel. Yeah, let's see how... how what is the word repel? What is he? He's just looking straight down at... Oh, Death gets a shotgun kill on Hellish. Oh, wow. Oh, De Death's just getting in there. Oh, boy. Look at that. Yeah, coming in from the ground level. Just picks up the AK. I guess they want the shotgun maybe. Johansson's just sitting there waiting to see a rappel to kind of try to challenge somebody on that balcony. Looks like he's going to run into some problems here at the main door. And they're using that shield for cover again like they did last time. It's like all they're the all stacked up stairs. right now. Yeah. yeah, they're all stacked on those stairs. Throws a grenade into the <laughs> hostage room. Johansson. Grenade doesn't kill him, doesn't even actually hurt him. Like Eagle needs to start floor. trying to flank and help his teammate. Yeah, they're getting they're getting pressured right now. What a position for the like This would be a good time to call. Come up. This would be a good call to be like, hey, I need you to come back where they're all up here. I mean, he needs to make a play. Yeah, what, what is he doing? He's got to be what up there. What is he doing? Death takes out that, and that's... Wow. That, yeah. What? Wow. Looks like Messi will work Was the there diffuse. no communication? Did they not tell him, hey, come out here and help us? We're, we're being overran. If he came behind, he could have yeah. probably wiped three or four of them. At least. Like, I can't believe no he one from Nemesis dies. Wow. Yeah. Ah, wow. 
this, this is exactly what we're talking about when we say you can see the teams that communicate and coordinate and the teams that just that just don't. Or maybe they have yeah, a certain strategy was... in play and they don't they don't know how to, you know, call an audible at the right moment, say, hey, we need to change this now. I I don't know what to say other than just uh, there was just, there definitely wasn't any communication. That's a guarantee. Yeah, no, there wasn't. And, and that's that's the thing, too. I mean, it's it's, it's like at what point? Do you stop looking outside and go up and help your teammates? Because, like I said, if you timed that perfectly when he was roaming, he would have killed three of them probably, and it pro they they might have actually came back and won. But it's just like, did anybody tell him like, hey, they're all on site, we need your help? Because he was just down there hanging out. Yeah, so they're gonna do the same bomb site, third floor, main office. Matt G with the sticky cam. Hellish Mist has the AK. By like an eagle with an AK as well, going with armor. Mimas. Is going to wedge. I think that's the stair door he's wedging this time. And then Johansson's going to figure out where he wants to have that sticky cam. Locate and defuse the bomb. Ooh. If that oh works, boy. that would be impressive. Uh, it could. I don't. Just yeah. leave it. Are we going to see them do the same repel spam? They're, I mean, it, they won that one. They're probably just. Yeah. Yeah, they're just getting right into it. It seems like this time they actually. These guys do to a good job is staying together too. They always stay together. At least two of them stay together every time we've watched them play. They always stay together in at least in groups of two. Yes. Twos or threes. One guy would kind of go off on his own for a second, but it's typically they're all next to each other, which is really solid. We have another. Okay, yeah. So he's going to go on the first floor here. And he's going to start clearing it out, make sure there's no roamers or anything like that. Which is something you can do by yourself real fast. The other two stay together. And it looks like all of Team FPS is going to stay on the objective this time. Like I, I'm not against roaming, but you got to be flexible. Yeah, roaming roaming is a great thing where it can be used really well if you time it out right. But you also need communication from your teammates, and when you should start applying that pressure. Ooh, nice name. So he gets a frag grenade on Eagle as he just kind of stood there, flagged his barrel out the door, and they had info on him. Now it's crouch walking up together. I see the point man checking out that short room. Make sure it's clear. Or letting the rest of his team come in behind. That's he's just making sure nobody comes out those doors on him. C4 crouched. I mean, prone on the ground. Let's see how this works. This might work out. If, oh, no. If he knew what we knew. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. But he gets a kill on death. And then he gets a kill on Messi. And then yeah. Pleb gets a kill on Hellish. That, that was actually good. That was being patient and, and waiting. And he it paid off for Say like Brad's figuring out the. And we have Mima sitting in the main office. He's looking at the door for third floor balcony. He sees the gun and he's fixed on it. Oh, the late on the shot. That's the backup. A little weak nade throw in there. Didn't get any kills, so they're probably gonna start moving in. Start wall banging. There's a good nade. Might get a kill there. Doesn't get one. Oh, Mima gets a kill on Brad. Here we go. Pled runs in, drops Mimas. Pled drops Johansson. Pled taking out Mace. It's 1v1. By Matt. Oh. He got ourselves a 1v1 right now. Look at the HP on Pled now. Oh. And gets. Oh, boy. <laughs> they tried. I mean, they, 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 they tried. They didn't really overwhelm. I mean, if they all went in at once, they probably would have won that. Mm hmm. But they kind of funneled in and got picked off. And I mean, that was a great defense. At the end there. And after really two rounds, it's tied deal. up. Uh, Matt G, Hellish Mist, getting two kills each. Mimas getting one. And uh, Nemesis is outgunning FPS here. Uh, you're seeing here eight kills as a team compared to FPS's five. See who has the advantage going into round number four after the winner of round number three. Able to find the bomb. She has the tactical shotgun and armor. Johansson has the AK and frag. Hellish Mist has the AK and C4. Fly like an eagle. It's the AK and armor. Two it's armors we see as Minus goes ahead with the wedge. See, so, you know, one thing too is like this: this these guys on defense. If they had a roamer that was doing it, like that knew what he was going to do, they could wipe the team if they had a competent roamer that was that's a ten. Because they they don't look behind them; they're all together. And yeah, they'll clear out rooms and stuff like that to try to get away. But I mean, if you have somebody who plays that pressure well, you can <laughs> see an acer. That was a great nade by death. Right through the window. 
So that's I, that, I've never seen a throw right there. That was really good. Looks like they're going up on the fourth floor. Okay, so here's Eagle again in the same spot. So let's see if he learned when to apply pressure. So we actually might we might see a good play here. Just depends how he plays it. Every attacker we'll right now is above fly like an eagle's head. Um, just kind of to see, except for brand one is kind of there. Ooh. That's when it comes down to communication right there. Brand lost that fight. Hellish runs out after he gets fragged and takes out there we go. Brand. Here's the upstairs push now by Eagle. Uh, Pleb down, lost connection. So let's see if Eagle's flank works real quick. I want to see if his uh, his rotate will play pay off for him. He, he went back to the first floor. Oh, and he's back down. Very interesting. It is 3v4. Uh, Mace is down back in the fourth floor, or first floor now. But giving his back to Mace! Oh! What? What? <laughs> this flight? I, I'm confused. I'm very, very confused. All right, well, we have the last three. Look like they're on site here, so at least there's an opportunity for them to get a win. That's just kind of pying out here, making sure no one's in that little living room area. Angle blocked. They got a good. They got a good sight defense if they just hold it down and just get them through the doorways. Hellish Mist just getting ready, throwing nades. Seems to hear somebody. Yeah, it seems like all of uh, Team FPS decide they're going to stay on site again. It worked for them the last round, um, with the exception of Eagle. But they're but they're rather than cover the floor, they're Someone's, staying on the objective itself in that room. Someone's getting antsy behind that cabinet. He's going to mm -hmm. pee. That's actually a really good prop placement. Oh, oh, oh the throws a nade out. Doesn't Messi runs it out. That closet will pay off if he does not move. That'll pay off. That'll pay C4 off. C4 coming out. Is he? Oh, no, he cancels it. And they're in. Got a got a refrag here. Messi's coming in. Did not see Messi? Did not see behind. <laughs> I now didn't see Messi. Oh no, yeah, it paid off for him, man. Oh! <laughs> Gave the defenders a shotgun good, and that G is spot, man. He, use it. He, he traded a teammate mm -hmm. to stay there, but ended up getting the shield. And that shield would have ran in there and checked him because he couldn't go anywhere. So that was that was really solid in his part, man. Wow. I, I, <laughs> I knew was, we'd see some good plays. Yeah. Just patience. It pays off. Like if you do it a certain if you do it the right way, it's all about timing. You know what I mean? He did not move at all from that cabinet and just it worked out. Got rid of the problem that was coming in the room, the shield. I think uh Nemesis needs their fifth to come back in. Use the planning table to find the bomb. It is still possible during the planning phase that if he reconnects he can join back in and spawn. Death starts with the AK and door trap. It's Brand like one has the Mac ten. In storage. Johansson's disconnected. Locate and defuse the bomb. We had two disconnects, and so at least now we're back on a four v four. But yeah, we have had two disconnects. Yeah, it is fair at least here with uh, at least uh, there we go. FPS getting their fifth back, but their fifth has not spawned in. Yeah. Now remember, everybody, uh, we haven't brought this up in a while unless you're here early on. This is an early access game. Uh, this is about almost a year since release. It was released August of last year, so we're up, sitting at about the one-year mark. And the development in this has been, I would say, insane. I, I, I yeah, for one guy, yeah. It's one programmer, a dev team based out of uh, Bangladesh. Uh, that's where the game is based out of as well. So impressive. What's been done. This is Operation Black Dawn. The latest major title update. <laughs> why? And that worked out. Just okay. why? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, good for him. Hey, what I said earlier, patience plays all. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at that. All right, now we're back to 4v4. But uh, 
The next major title update coming out is Operation Meghna, named after the Meghna River in Bangladesh. There's a new map that'll be situated on the... It'll be a boat situated in, er, in the river. Uh, oh, Mimas. He just Gotta tripped that door trap and even looked down. Yeah. All right, let's see if this plays out again here. Oh, get shot through the door. It took... I think he took a little... Yeah, he's taking a little bit of damage. Turns it's so... To the right oh, the net! Got a two for one. I heard it. Yeah, I heard it. I knew there was both coming. Both those kills. Hey. It's a good try on Matt with that shotgun. It just didn't work out for him. Yeah. Good attempt. Good oh, wow. attempt right there. And the frags at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now we're 2-2. Two, two. Looks like, yeah, looks like we're right. This is going to be a little neck-and-neck neck battle. Well, so it's 2-2 two, two after four rounds. And uh, Messi getting a negative there for a couple of friendlies. But I think it was interesting to see how the different shield plays. Messi was playing so well with the shield uh, on the attacking side. But that, and his job is just information. And then when you saw FPS go through with the shield, not tripping the door trap, ignoring the short room, it was a different, it was a totally different style of play for, for shield play than uh, we saw when Team Nemesis was doing it. And we saw Team Nemesis, you know, go on a oh. residential house. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I saw it. I saw. I thought it was oh. gonna switch off of it. I am so sorry, Mace. Chat, chat is about to rip you. <laughs> wow. I'm still laughing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to not trigger the mic here because I'm still I've looking. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. Oh man, that's unfortunate. It's, uh, all right, professional casting here, guys. <laughs> two two. We're about a minute into the fifth round. On the shield is Mimas. Has not yet opened the door, and that's a smart move. He's waiting for his team before revealing that they're on the roof. Get your team to back you up when you're playing the shield. Oh, brand one. That shotgun oh. works so well for everybody in this tournament. I don't, I just, oh, I get a third! Oh, oh. Man, good try, good try. That was really solid by brand, though. Yeah, you're so right, though. I mean, you know, we we're... We're, we're with the people. We're playing all the public games, and we hear everyone say, the shotgun, man, the shotgun. No one's had trouble with the shotgun this tournament. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, the flash. No, it didn't get the angle he wanted. I think Hellish Mist might be flashed. They're just going to have to sit there and wait. All right, we're starting to move in here, I'm trying to get some intel. Just runs right in. I wonder if he's gonna check on his right, make sure he's not. Kid yeah. Oh, he opened it. Okay, there we go. Oh, nice nice nade. Perfect nade from death, right on fly like an eagle, and he flew like an eagle. Nice explosion. Can't get in that room. Oh man. Are all three on site? Where's the third one at? Or is that a reconnect? Uh, th that's a reconnect, yes. Copy, alright. Death getting the kill on Hellish This is a 2v1. Two, two one. one guy's holding the balcony. If he if he holds the balcony for like 30 seconds, that's all he's got time for, he might be able to get a kill and make it a 1v1. But he's going to have to play that smart. He might be able to get a kill if he holds it. Oh, okay. Oh. They took a...
got to be careful when doing this. He's got to make sure that far right room is covered. Running through is going to get him killed. He's, he's got a pie to out runs right through. Nice. Yep. <laughs> Gets killed by Johansson. He could have long pied that, or he could have changed his um, switch real quick and came down main mm. stairs or something. So You just get hit from two different doors and two different angles there. It's kind of risky. He's, uh, I guess this goes back to what we were uh, saying earlier in that embassy raid game. Um, if you friendly fire your teammates, as long as you get the extra round win, all good, right? No harm, no foul. It's all about the round wins. Death with 11 kills, three deaths. He's been holding that spot and been playing that so effective with the, the just the nades in the right location. I, That's the thing, too. They're good. Defending. Mm hmm they're getting they're they're, they're standing they, they spend a lot of time in that hallway and eventually you're going to hear something you're going to see yes. somebody's going to flag their barrel and it's it's just an easy nade kill i mean i get plenty i get plenty of nade kills when people hang up in that hallway because they're afraid to move in i think brand one deploying he can go around but maybe he wants to stay there that entrance is blocked off club dow is going to be playing in the stairs mace Located going to the hold they're going second floor master bedroom uh, hellish mist Starts with the ES-36. Matt G is the MP5SD. And we're seeing two repels here. Oh, three repels. Mimas. Hellish Miss gets messy. Johansson's also on the repel. Mimas gets Led just play. takes out Mimas right there. Yeah. I, I don't think he expected someone to play third floor. Brand one will get a kill there on Eagle. I really think that was a surprise um, on Messi just not realizing or not not even really anticipating somebody would play the third floor. Yeah, head over to Pled. Head over to Pled real quick. Let's see, I want to see something real quick. I want to see what he's gonna running out of stamina. He's a pretty. He's been he's been decently aggressive on people. At the point where he can do a run out here in a second, I wonder if he's gonna run out on balcony. Yep. We've, we've passed the one minute marker now. He can run out. Uh, yeah, I think he's gonna. There is someone there. If he does this, yep, 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 yep. Here he goes. Here he goes. Hey, here come goes. on, man. No, he's looking he's the wrong way. way. Oh, he, gets oh, he gets two. There we go. There we go. That's what I was thinking he was gonna do, my man. And that's a good way to defend it too. If you can play it smart, you can run out there. People are on the balcony. You just take them out. I got two of them done. Gee, has someone right there? Takes out brand one. Going into the second floor balcony. Mace is. I don't think Blood realizes he's sight. in sight. All enemies have been neutral. Boom! Mace, Mace has the angle. The window. Nice. I think Plubdow just yeah, pushed in because he probably just got the information anyway before. But, uh. Huge pushing out there. Yeah. Huge. Well, we'll see. We'll see how this works. But it looks like, I mean, the, the way that this is spread is right out for two. It looks like that. You know, Nemesis is going to go ahead and probably take the W for this one. And Nemesis has, uh, yeah, they have four rounds. They're in their match point position now, and we have really seen a, a, a tight match here. Um, I know that uh, we've kind of, you know, been calling a couple of mistakes and we've seen some uh, 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 on both sides here, but for the most part, everything has been pretty solid and, and uh, you're seeing communication work out, especially on Team Nemesis' side. There's been some good communication. On FPS, communication is probably their mistake, but they are playing their sights well when they're defending. FPS will be back to defending now as we start round number seven. What's going on? I think he's trying to find the spot for the camera, but... Okay, it looks like he's settled on that spot. So remember, we always All right, talk here about... we go. Let's see how FPS handled. They brought a shield with them. I wonder if they're going to try to mimic their guys' play, how they all... Just collapse on the means. Shout out the garage camera. Don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Nice, just checking the... Messi is on the rooftop. Windows, making sure. Wait, did no one on Nemesis go shieldless? Oh, Messi went shield. Okay. I was going to say, Messi's usually been the shield guy. Cameron's gone on fourth. Brand one is already in the first floor. They probably thought, hey, there's someone in the first floor. Let's go check it out. Um, seems like, yeah, FPS is on site this time. 
and you know, we, again, we uh, FPS here might end up having. No one's playing balcony. No one. Yeah, no one's up there. They're all playing on site. Oh, this I is, heard uh, it now. I think someone is now. This is where they had success before. Neither of those nades got anybody. Pretty sure someone's on balcony. Now it sounded like it. It is brand one yeah, covering the balcony. Yeah. Messi's looking right. He needs to back up because there's trouble from the left. That's hellish. And he's got cover from that balcony too because the table flipped over. Uh, hellish is kind of out in the open. He needs to start moving around on those windows because these guys are moving around getting kills, and he he can see a lot of that floor, so he should be able to see some people. Now, it, ooh, Hellish is in the bathroom, and if Brand you 1 can throw can a nade right bathroom, through that window. Yeah, go to Nade in there, or even shoot directly in there. Hellish now back outside, back in the bathroom. Oh man. I guess back on the roof. This might. Oh, okay. Got Hellish. Hellish ran out. Hanson and Matt G are both covering site again. We'll see if uh, Matt G can find success like he did the last time. They were on a similar floor plan. Nate out. And he's going to get... Oh, boy. He took some hits right there. Oh, oh pop out. Go, runs out. Gets flashed, but still gets a frag. So again, we're looking at Johansson now. Remember, he's not kill. flashed. This is just how the spectator cam works in the current build of the game. Took the, okay, he took the door wedge off, so now he's going to move and help his teammates out. It's a 2v2 right now. Matt is going oh. to get exposed on the left. Take some more rounds. Oh, man. He runs out. Oh, oh boy. Johansson and Mace and trade. Game. And that is going to be the game. Yeah, Nemesis is going to go take game number two. That is, means that in the bottom half of the bracket, we're going to see two 2-0s. Two Nemesis moving on to face on Sigma in round number four. That was a good game. I know they went. I know they went five and two, but those are some some really good fights against each other. Regardless, Solid. yeah. When they were on the defense side, I mean, there was a couple of mistakes that we pointed out before, but they were still able to make it happen. Uh, and, and thanks in part two to to Matt G and, and Hellish. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was actually a, a closer game than the scoreboard will tell you. And uh, let's go ahead to see if it is up to date. It is. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at where the bracket lies right now. Remember, that was game two with Nemesis already in the lead of the series. And so that will mean that they move on to face Sigma in round number four, Sigma versus Nemesis. Moving up to the top half, these will be our last two games in the round three winner's bracket. You have Hacks and Speaking in Tongues, both tied at one. The winner, We'll go ahead and move on to round number four. Loser goes down to the loser bracket. This is a must-win situation for both of those teams.